and around the Boston Marathon route are curiosities hidden in plain sight. Just over halfway through the marathon route, there's a clock tower in the middle of an open green space between two roads. Standing 75 feet tall is this Georgian Revival clock tower with panoramic views from the top. It's the first recorded town gift, and it was actually gifted to the village of Grantville in 1874. The village of Grantville, where exactly is that? And please don't use the Google. Is it in A, Natick, B, Wellesley, or C, Newton? The village of Grantville is now present-day Wellesley Hills. The clock and bell once belonged to a school before it was gifted and moved here to Elm Park at the intersection of Routes 9 and 16. Taylor Callock is executive director of the Wellesley Historical Society. The town, local business leaders, and various civics organizations came together to appropriate money for the construction of a clock tower. And in 1928, the Isaac Sprague Memorial Tower was unveiled, named after a local banker and real estate developer. Resident Peter Monjo says the clock tower is more than just a landmark. It goes off every hour, so if you're running late and you're walking by and the bell rings, you better hurry up to your appointment. Not far away, this boulder on Morton Field. It's totally something you would walk by 500 times and not pay attention to it. It's a monument to a rivalry that goes back to 1882 and is the oldest public high school football rivalry in the country. So who was Wellesley's biggest rival? Was it A, Needham, B, Dover, or C, Natick? Wellesley used to be part of Needham. When Wellesley became its own separate town in 1881, the following year, they invited the Needham team to play. Wellesley was also home to a famous professor who wrote an iconic poem turned song. This professor wrote both poetry and more scholarly articles, but she's best known for one poem. That poem first appeared in print in 1895 and was later set to music. Is it A, America, my country tis of thee, B, this land is your land, or C, America the beautiful? Here's one more clue. It's been set to numerous tunes, but the tune we know today was written by Samuel Ward. You're correct if you guessed America the Beautiful, written by Catherine Lee Bates, a beloved professor of English at Wellesley College. In 1871, 12-year-old Catherine Lee Bates and her mother and sister moved here. She graduated from Wellesley High School, then attended Wellesley College in 1880, and then taught at Dana Hall before then teaching at Wellesley College and built her house here in 1907. That house still exists here on Curve Street. It's where Professor Bates did much of her writing, but nothing surpassed the renown of America the Beautiful. By the time World War I had happened, it was becoming ingrained in sort of our national identity. By the time she died in 1929, she was aware of sort of its potential legacy at least, if not its like actual legacy. America the Beautiful, a fitting theme born in this town that comes alive with runners on Patriot's Day. And Professor Bates loved to bike all around Wellesley, sometimes accompanied by her beloved dog. Or apparently a <laughs> parrot that liked to eat toast, for whatever that means. The dog is actually buried on the Wellesley campus and one of the dorms, uh, Bates Hall, mm. named after her, of course. All right.